Today we're going to be covering some updates for Guccifer Sundown Exploit Kit, and we'll also be talking about a little snafu over the weekend by Sophos. Stay tuned. This is a Security Weekly production. Brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. IT Pro TV offers 1,000 hours of up to date, high quality video training content. Course topics include certified cloud security professional, ethical hacking, cryptography, and VMware. You can stream their courses live or on demand to your mobile device, all for one low monthly subscription price and cancel at any time. Visit itpro.tv forward slash hack naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HN30 for a free seven day trial and get 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Logarithms NetMon Freemium delivers real-time network visibility to quickly identify emerging threats in your IT environment. NetMon Freemium is a free, commercial-grade network forensics and traffic analytics solution. You can use NetMon Freemium's powerful capabilities to search against all observed network traffic, identify abnormal traffic patterns and application usage, and quickly analyze full packet captures. Take the first step towards real-time network visibility. Visit logarithm.com forward slash freemium to learn more and download it today. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded September 8th, 2016. I'm your host, as always, Aaron Lyons, and glad you're listening. So you may recall back in May of this year, we covered that the Romanian hacker, Guccifer, pled guilty to hacking and identity theft charges. Now, Guccifer, between 2012 and 2014, hacked into the personal email accounts and social media accounts of about 100 high-profile Americans, including uh, immediate family member of two former U.S. presidents, a former member of the U.S. cabinet, a former member of the U.S. Joint Chief of Staffs, and a former presidential advisor. He was arrested back in January of 2014 in Romania, and he was then extradited to the U.S. in March of this past year. So his sentencing was just this past Thursday on September 1st and he was sentenced to 52 months in prison. Sounds better than some of the other stories we've covered, like the hacker that was sentenced to seven years in a Russian gulag. Another update of an old story, back in July with the demise of the Angler exploit kit, we reported that the authors of the Sundown exploit kit were working to fill the void and were rapidly updating their code. So Sundown had originally started from stolen code from the RIG exploit kit. And the developers of Sundown are continuing to update their code. And they're doing this by continuing to steal other exploits. They've now incorporated exploits from Angler, the hacking team, and the Magnitude exploit kit. And it looks like there's no copyright protection for malware writers. Our last story this week, just this past weekend, the users of the Sophos security software might have been presented with an unpleasant surprise. After an update to their antivirus signatures, the updated signatures incorrectly, the win logon executable as malicious. This has caused many users to see the infamous BSOD, blue screen of death. Sofo has already issued a revised antivirus update, and they claim that this false positive only affected a very specific version of the 32-bit Windows 7 Service Pack 1. That's it for stories this week on Hack Naked TV. Thanks for listening. Send us your feedback to the show at hacknaked.tv. And as always, keep on hacking naked. <laughs>